Japan has something to offer for a wide range of people and interests. Whether you want to explore traditional or contemporary Japanese culture, travel, or learn the language, you will be able to find activities that will make your experience in Japan an enjoyable one. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Ingram. I've been working in Tokyo for about six months now. On the weekends and not during my time off, I like to travel and see Japan. During cherry blossom season, I went to Himeji and I could see the cherry blossoms, the castle and a festival too. Uh, I've also been to Kurashiki, which is famous for its old historical quarter. And you can walk along the shops and restaurants next to the canal and feel like you're in old time Japan. I've seen so much, but there's so much more I can see and do. Hello, my name is Lauren Cowart and I'm a teacher with E.ON. I've been teaching with E.ON for nine years. One of the nice things about living in Japan is that it's very easy to pursue your hobbies. My hobby is cosplay, which is creating costumes of popular characters and meeting up on the weekends to show your costumes to your friends. I like going to these events because it's a great way to meet new friends and also practice my crafting skills. Besides that, I also like to go walking around my neighborhood on the weekends. I'm able to discover a lot of new cafes, shops, and restaurants, and have discovered some of my favorite shops and cafes this way. I also recommend you try the same. Hi, my name is Chris. I've been with Eon for several years now. I have several hobbies that I love to do, and I have plenty of time to do that in the morning. I love to go jogging. And on some days I love to study Japanese. Uh, I'll make some coffee and I can study at a relaxed pace. I also have plenty of time to get ready for work. After work, sometimes I go out and meet friends and do things and I don't have to worry about getting up too early and fighting morning traffic. So that's been a big positive for me. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Colby and I'm a teacher here at Eon. I've been working with Eon for a little over two and a half years and during this time I've had many opportunities to travel both inside Japan and overseas. So because Japan is so close to mainland Asia, there are plenty of places to go in Thailand, Cambodia, Korea, or any other exotic country. And if international travel isn't your thing, there's Hokkaido in the north or Okinawa in the south. And the cultures are so different, it's like going to a different country. So, if, if travel is your passion, this is the place for you.